Becky Craft, hunt me. Start a hunt. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Draco Hydras here, and we're going to be playing some more Phasmophobia. Um, I wanted to try doing the single player mode, just to kind of see how hard it is, if it's easy. Eh, I don't know. Let's find out. So I think I want to actually just start on professional difficulty on like an easy map. So the difference between professional and intermediate, so you, you get some setup time. There's a hunt grace period or a better hunt grace period. Hunt duration is lower. Sanity pills restore less. Fuse box starts off. Fewer places to hide regain some of your lost equipment value if you die. So the difference between professional and intermediate seems to be so the ghost room can rarely change so that's very interesting so the ghost room can rarely change but there's no setup time there's a short hunt grace period there's a long hunt duration sanity pills do less fuse box starts off off and much fewer hiding spots so i don't know does much fewer yeah so i'm assuming there's even less hiding spots on professional than there is on intermediate but let's be honest, if I get to the point where I get hunted, I'm probably dead anyways. Um, I don't think I've successfully uh, hid from a hunt yet. Nightmare mode will be the next one if I find professional too easy. Probably won't find it too easy, but let's see what happens. So this is the thing. If I'm going on these harder difficulties, I'm not going to just add everything that I have in here. I'm just going to maybe add some things. So we start off with a photo, video, camera. UV light, spirit box, ghost writing, flashlight, EMF reader, and a dots projector. So I definitely want a strong flashlight. Um, probably bring like maybe two sanity pills. Uh, maybe bring an, one extra photo camera. Oh, I should probably bring a crucifix. And I think that's a good, good start. So I'm going to probably play very passive first. And if it gets too easy, then I'm going to try to play a little bit more aggressive. You know, just kind of taunt the ghost a bit. So this is what I'm going to bring for now, just one crucifix photo camera. Should I bring the stuff for challenges? I don't know if I want to do the challenges just yet, so we'll we'll come back to that. So, uh yeah. So let's see if let's see how this goes. All right, we're in. So, unfortunately, we can't do motion sensor or smudge stick, so but I want, I want to test this first before I bring extra stuff. So we just want to find evidence of a paranormal with an EMF reader. So we're definitely going to want EMF reader. Um, I think right off the start, I'm going to want my flashlight too. Uh, not that one, actually. That's the UV light. Um, we'll start off with this flashlight and photo camera. So I want to also try to make money. So we're going to try to find the bone and stuff. And we know it starts off, so uh, yep, we can easily see that's gonna start with the fuse box in the basement. All right, let's see how this goes. So I don't have a, a thermometer, so it could be a bit of a pain to find the ghost room. But essentially, what we want to do is we want to immediately um, go get to the fuse box. So I'll turn on some lights too, so that once the once the fuse box does turn on. Does that door start open, or am I dumb? Because I know I've seen that open before. So we'll immediately turn that on. Okay, we already have a Ouija board. The question is, do we want to use it? So we're gonna keep lights on until we kind of know where the ghost room is. No clues yet. I don't even remember their name. Corey. Uh, there should be lights in here as well. We're just going to try to keep as many lights on as possible. This door was open slightly, so I wonder if... When an object moves and we get EMF... Uh, we kind of know where the room might be. So, 
Of course, I was gonna say, I feel like they're gonna turn the lights off soon. What? No, they turned all of them off too. You know how much work that was? I wonder if they do that automatically. I'm only keeping them on until I kind of feel like I kind of know where the ghost room is so I don't lose too much sanity. Oh, we found the bone. That was fairly easy. Um, all right, I think I might just bring more equipment in. Um, we could try using the Ouija board. Oh, I heard creaking. Was that over here? Maybe it's in here. I'm gonna be a little dumb here and put, oh, I don't have a video camera. What am I doing? All right, I'm gonna just put down um, a bunch of my equipment so I can bring some more stuff in. I'm also curious um, if my sanity dropped at all, given I've basically left the lights on the whole time. It's kind of a learning experience, trying to figure out how exactly the game functions. So I still lost 5% sanity. That's not bad. Um, we can bring fingerprints. I don't think the crucifix matters just yet, and maybe... Oh, I should have left my flashlight, probably. So I could bring more stuff. Where would be a good spot to put this camera? Let's put it, like, right here. We can come... We can go look at that. Uh, turn the light off, too, so we can get some value out of that. So, yeah, still not getting... Uh, we're just gonna leave that down here. I'm gonna leave like a bunch of other stuff too. I'm gonna go grab EMF. So far, I think the temperature, the thermometer might have been worth bringing because I feel like I don't, I'm not in a good spot right now because I don't know which room it is. All right, I'm gonna take a break on the fingerprints. Um, let's see if I'm gonna drop that so I have more inventory space just to bring more stuff in. So I've dropped only another 5%, so I don't think anything crazy has happened. Uh, let's also bring, yeah. The crucifix only really helps if we know where the ghost room is. So, uh, whoa, are you here? Wait, let me drop that and get my flashlight back. I've never seen that before. Are you here? I don't know where that was. Was it in here? Okay, I think the thermometer would make this much easier. I feel like I'm about to lose all my stuff. Um, yeah, I'm still not getting any fingerprints. Oh. I don't know which doors are opening. I'm hearing them move. Oh, <gasps> fingerprints. Let me get my camera. Okay, so is it here then? Actually, let me grab this. Move it there. Are you here? What is your name? Who are you? Oh, stuff moved in here too. I'm really valuing this right now, the power. So we know fingerprints. Are you here? Where are you? Let me grab a camera. 
for this space. Or a, a video camera. Where'd I put it? Put it in this room. Let's leave. Wait, no, I can't leave that one. I forgot I can actually look for ghost orbs with this thing. Um. Yeah, uh, let's do like... Like that. So I'm still 76 sanity, so that's not bad. Actually really good. I'm still not even entirely sure this is the uh, ghost room. I feel like bringing the thermometer would make this much easier, but maybe too easy, so I don't know. All right, so I think what I'll do is I have most of my equipment already. Um, I'll actually bring a sanity pill in there with me. And an extra camera for uh, just in case I need more pictures. Oops. Um, and I'll just like leave it at the front here. I don't know where he is, so... Where are you? Corey Harris. Are you here? Are you here? Hmm. I haven't got like any EMF either. Corey Harris. Corey Harris, are you here? What other evidence? Ghost orb spirit box. Um, oh, where did I put the book? Oh, yeah, I put the book, like, in here. Why did I put this here? I don't know. I'm gonna just throw it down over here. I feel like I have nothing to go off of. Corey Harris. Give me a sign. Oh. Two. Alright, I think I actually got some good intel here. I do this so it could be either ghost orbs could also be can I actually put this down here oh interesting all right let's go check the camera I feel like there's not a good angle for that. Well, we already have two things of evidence now. It could be a Jin, but it would be more powerful um, with the power where like it is. So I can see the power flickering quite a bit. Um, so let's take a look. So it could be a demon, a hauntu, a mimic, or a jinn. So if I go to ghosts, so demon, we know they attack a lot. I think they can initiate a hunt when your sanity is at like 60 or 70%. So I, it could be, but I didn't get any um, ghost writing yet. So we'll have to see. Uh, the other one was jinn. So the Jin will travel faster speed when the victim is far away. Turning off the location's power source will prevent the Jin from using its ability, which means it can't travel at a faster speed when you're far away. Um, so, I mean, that's good. That is good. Um, a Hantu. Lower temperatures allow the Hantu to move at faster speed.
okay, I don't understand how that, how we can really affect that with temperature, if that's just putting the power on versus not on. And the mimic is just somebody that can mimic, but you should be able to see ghost orbs. So I'm wondering if it's dots projector. Maybe I can move the dots projector closer to the center of the room. Um, actually, let's see. If I go to evidence... So it could be ghost orbs, spirit box, ghost writing, or EMF level 5. EMF level 5 is really hard to get. Um, I'm actually going to bring this inside with me. I have the extra hand. Um, I'm trying to keep my sanity as high as I can uh, for as long as I can, basically. Okay, so we have a 2 here on the EMF. What's his name? I know I keep I, I keep thinking Calvin Harris for some reason. It's Corey Harris. Corey Harris. I feel like if he spawns, I haven't seen where he's spawned from, but I'm gonna put like this stuff down here. Maybe get a better angle. Corey Harris. Give me a sign. Oh, I thought my game froze, but I just got stuck. <laughs> uh, I know there are rooms here, but I'm not really getting... Oh, was there knocking? It's like he's in this closet. I'm getting EMF 2 on these shoes. Those are some uh, ghostly shoes. They're out of this world. Okay, I don't think it's ghost writing then. It it must be uh ghost verbs, right? Let's see if I can get a good angle in here. Oh, I think that's a ghost orb. I think that's I think, okay, if I do ghost orb, it can be a hauntu. Hauntus do what exactly? Lower temperatures. So I don't know what that red, red thing is doing, or let's check my photos. Wait, <laughs> it gave me fingerprints for that? <laughs> I thought I got a picture of him. Let's see what my sanity is. I'm just curious. If it dropped a lot by staring at the, the ghost there. It did not. I'm at 88, so I might be able to still get a picture of the ghost. It's getting very risky now. But I think it's a Hauntu. If I take off Ghost Orb. Um, let's go to Mimic for a second. Several reports have noted Ghost Orb sightings near Mimics. So we need to rule out whether or not it's Spirit Box because you can still see ghost orbs near uh, mimics. Um, so, so we saw where he was, right? He was like right here. So I'm literally just going to move. Uh, I don't think it's writing. I don't think it can be with the ghost orbs. Um, do I have a camera still? Oh, crap. Let me grab this. Oh, did I turn the power off? Really? I'm gonna come back for you. Stay on. Okay. Just wanted to listen to. I don't need to chop this. I have. I have multiple hands. I have three hands exactly. Alright. Let's try to roll this out. Uh, Corey Harris, are you here? Is anyone here? Where are you? Is anyone here? 
Three. Oh, man, it's getting really hot in here. Okay, you know what? I I think I want to just claim that it's a Hantu. I don't know if I want to try to get a picture. I feel like I might might die if I do that. Corey Harris. So if he doesn't like warm, I have Hantu circled, right? Just in case I do. I think that's what it is. Where are you? Yeah. So the sighting of the ghost orbs basically means that it's Hantu or a mimic. And it seems like Wait, do I have two cameras? I, I do. So it, Yeah, I think I'm gonna just claim that it is a uh, onto. Yeah. It wasn't very fun though, was it? I feel like if you if you approach it very methodical like this, it's pretty easy. Let's see if I even got it right. It was a Hantu. We got 150 for that too. That's pretty good. We didn't even do two of the objectives. Awesome. Oh, we leveled up twice for that. Okay. So I'm curious. So I, I think I brought more stuff uh, than I really needed. What if I just bring like no sanity pills? Cause I feel like sanity pills, um, if you play it really methodical is really easy. We will bring a thermostat, or a, a thermometer. Thermostat, let's turn the heat up. Um, we'll bring a thermometer so we can try to find the ghost room a bit sooner and we're gonna try to keep the light uh, at a managed level. This way, even if we lose and we find the bone, we should be able to afford a single thermometer. So we shouldn't lose any money at all. Ooh, we should try, no, 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 we'll do that one next. We'll do that next. <laughs> I feel like that's going to go horrible if I do Nightmare by myself. Um, okay, so we are going to start with this thermometer. I didn't bring a strong flashlight, so I completely forgot. This is going to look very dark. Violence? I deal with ghost violence all the time. Alright, so... Man, you really don't get much by, by default, do you? But I have a thermometer, a very bad flashlight, and I think I'll bring a photo camera so I can try to find the bone like, uh, like last time. So this is the same place, right? Yeah, we got basement for the uh, power. Again, we want to turn the power on. Oh, this flashlight is not good. Look at it. It's like the yellow. It gives me like a yellowish tinge game is so different now so we'll just start off with this um so we don't drain whoa did you hear that is that upstairs Oh, I got nine. Is that in here? No. Five. Wait, that could be because I'm pointed to outside. Can it? No, I think it's in this room. All right, cool. I think that's good. We, we basically found that right off the bat. Um, now, can we find the bone very easily? Why would you do such a thing? I gotta go all the way back here.
Whoa, how would you miss that? Whoa. Is there a skull like carved into that bone? Or is that actually how the bone looks? I don't even know which bone that's supposed to be. Um, okay, cool. So, I'm happy with that. We got the bone. We got the bone. Let's go get more equipment. I'm keeping my flashlight. Nah, let's live dangerously. Oh, if, if I ever was in a hunt and I didn't have like any items on me, like no flashlight, I think I would just run into everything. Because you can't see anything with this like shoulder flashlight that you apparently have. There's no mirror, but if I had a mirror, I could show you. Um, so let's grab some stuff. Yeah, let's grab this to start. All right, so we'll just drop the EMF here so we have it. I think it's like over here, so I'm literally just going to put the book down there. Freezing temps. Okay, cool. Where are you? Is anyone here? Where are you? Pe Becky Craft, where are you? All right, I'll keep it on because they might say words. Oh, where's my camera? All right. Is anyone here? Is anyone here? Where are you? Alright, I don't think it's spirit box. Let's go get uh, some more evidence. Wait. Don't need that. Alright. I want to point out a few things. It's possible that it's a demon. And a demon can attack me at 70% like sanity or something, I think. So it hasn't dropped a lot, but escape a hunt. Ooh, that's going to be difficult, I think. Um, ooh, okay. Let's, let's try to get everything, all the evidence in there. Yeah, so... I want to try escaping a hunt because I feel like ever since they've updated the ghosts to uh, like have better following you and everything. Oh, we saw some power flicker. I just realized that I, the spirit box you want to use in the dark. I, can't, I always forget that. Are you here? Is anyone here? Yeah. Cool. Alright. Maybe if I use this stuff right, it would have been easier. Alright. Let's go let's go back to the van for a second. I just wanna uh go read about the ghost a bit, just figure out everything that's going on. And then maybe figure out if I wanna go in there and just try to escape a hunt. So a Morai, I'm Pretty sure it's, yeah, the weaker their victim, the stronger the Morai becomes. So I don't exactly know what that means. So let's see, the Morai have risen from the grave to drain energy from the living. They have been known to place curses on their victims, curable only by antidotes or moving very far away. So again, the strength is that the weaker their victims, the stronger the Morai becomes, but their weakness is Morai suffers from hyper... Uh, hyperosmia weakening them for longer periods so does that mean that between hunts is longer so if i could get it to hunt me and then possibly survive the hunt possibly um i need to find a hiding spot first one that's not full of boxes 
So, okay, so this room does have a hiding spot. These rooms don't specifically have hiding spots, but all right. So, I don't think there's many hiding spots. Where? Where? I want a picture. It locked this door on me. That, uh, that did put some shivers down my spine, but I need to get a picture. Alright, I need to be in a position, though, if it spawns, I can somehow get away from it. Oh, we don't need that. We know the ghost is already. Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, wait, was there- I thought there was a Ouija board on this map. Am I wrong? I was going to try to lower my sanity intentionally. Okay, I don't... I thought there was, but I think I might have been thinking about one of the previous games. Okay, well, I could just sit in the dark for a while. <laughs> okay, so one, one play would be to sit like in the dark in this room until it hunts and hide. That's no fun. All right. Response to, we're unsure. Uh, Becky Craft, where are you? Becky Craft. This is not a good spot to be, actually. Becky Craft. Give me a sign. Becky Craft, hunt me. Start a hunt. <laughs> still or something <laughs> Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. I knew what it was too. I could have just left. That's okay. That's okay. So I want to try I don't know how to hide. Like I thought did I have something on? I don't remember now. I just remember dying. Um Maybe I left my flashlight on, but you gotta like turn all your stuff off, then hide. 